Hey sales leaders, Steve Rosen here. Uh, and after four weeks of living in quarantine, self-isolation, social distancing, I'm going crazy and you must be as well. If you're not feeling frustrated, certainly cooped up, um, I don't know, then you're doing great. Uh, maybe you're set for this. But a lot of sales leaders I've been speaking with uh, are finding it difficult dealing with their own fears, their own concerns. Uh, it's becoming challenging to stay positive. You guys are still, I mean, everyone's done a great job, but of course you're still trying to figure out how to effectively sell and uh, interact with your customers. And of course, this feeling of being cooped up is crazy, but the fact is, I think we're all in the same boat. And what I've decided to do, one, to keep myself relevant and uh, busy, uh, is one, uh, speak to a variety of old customers of mine, and two, to put on this series that uh, I'm going to speak to you about, uh, which is about leading your sales force. I don't even know if it's crisis. It's leading your sales force, as someone said to me. It's not about the crisis. It's about quarantine. Uh, the hardest part here is not working from home, but working from home and being quarantined, being stuck inside, being forced to, uh, you know, maybe some of you aren't ordering in like me. I'm dying for some Chinese food. And you know what? Uh, I can't order it in. So, so the question really is, if you're feeling this way like I am, and I know I'm definitely feeling this way, uh, and I work from home, uh, how are your customers feeling? How are your salespeople feeling? And really, as a leader, you need to cope with your own feelings and you need to put on this positive outlook and really get everyone psyched up because they're looking to you uh, to role model, to, to show them a way, to give them a vision. So last week we talked about building a plan and hope the folks who were great on my session uh, built their plans and used the template. But today, or actually tomorrow, uh, I wanna talk to you about positivity and really about your role as a leader in modeling or role modeling positivity or a positive mindset. And I've done some research which I'm gonna share with you and it's very interesting to see how the, the brain operates in times of uncertainty. And hopefully there'll be some really good tips coming out on how to nurture a positive mindset, how to ensure as the leader that you're presenting and you're, when you're interacting with your clients, with your sales folks, usually by, uh, by video conference, that you are role modeling positivity. And what traits a leader needs to show. If you wanna find out what sales, uh, not sales tips, but sales leadership traits are critical, uh, I'm gonna talk about that. And then what is the impact? Okay, I'm telling you to be positive. I know you wanna be positive because you wanna be a leader, you are a leader. Uh, but what is the impact? What's in it for you? Uh, if you can behave and, uh, and show the traits of a positive leader, you know, chin up, chest out, looking in your people and smiling and knowing that, hey, there is some realities here, but we are gonna get through this. And guys, this is how we're, guys and gals, this is how we're gonna get through it. So I wanna cordially invite you uh, to join me as part of a series leading your sales team in times of, it could be crisis, but in times of quarantine, because yes, there's a crisis going on, but for salespeople who are outgoing and wanna meet with clients, this quarantine is a killer. So let's all find ways to be positive. I know everyone's doing a great job. Let's share our successes and join me tomorrow at 12 EST for the second part, role modeling a positive mindset. See you there.